let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now, it's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride, no surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with likeable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. Getting through elementary school was like tiptoeing through a minefield. The potential for incredible humiliation was everywhere. The trick was to stay away from all organized extracurricular activities. You know, stuff like the opera, appreciation club. Operas for losers and you all losers and big, big, big losers. La, 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 la. And the geology club. And gentlemen, I'll give you titanium carbonite. And I'll give you titanium loserite. <laughs> and the most ridiculed of all after school activities, male cheerleading. Give me onesers, give me twosers, male cheerleaders, a bunch of losers. <laughs> of course, one. Once you managed to avoid every after-school activity, you were inevitably left with nothing to do. <clears throat> Need something to do, boys? No. We're overextended as it is. Oh, I doubt that. Follow me. You're the first-rate opportunity to get married with impunity. No musical? We are doing the Pirates of Penzance this year. And we still haven't found our pirate king. Okay, that's enough. So, who's next? Sorry, I'd love to, but I I already signed up for synchronized swimming. Yeah, I uh, signed up for uh, male cheerleading. And you, Mr. Anderson. Huh? I'm late for, um, chess? The chess club? Really? Yeah, uh, we have one, don't we? Do we ever? Guys, meet Louis Anderson. Amateur, beginner, novice. Enjoy yourself, my little chess mm. boy. The window's your best bet. What's that? You ducked out of the musical auditions by claiming to be in the chess club, right? Wow. All those stereotypes are right on the money. Very true. But you're also the third guy today that the principal's dragged in here. The first two went out the window. We're two stories up! You could always stay and learn how to play. Hmm. Break my legs, stay and play chess. Decisions, decisions. Oh, what the heck. At least this looks less painful. Hi, I'm Melvin. My name is Melvin, too. My name is... Hey, I know you. You're Franklin, right? Right, but everyone calls me Melvin. So, Louie, you want to play a game? Sure. You guys know Crazy Eights? <laughs> You're a funny guy, Louie. Can I call you Melvin? No. Tell you what, Melvin and Melvin are in the middle of a game. Why don't we watch them for a bit? Brilliant idea. Just for the record, Melvin has beaten Melvin 26 times. And Melvin has beaten Melvin 25 times. So this is a pretty big game. Mm. Louie? Mm. Louie? All of the suspense. All the tension. I've never seen anything more thrilling. No, Louie. You just don't understand the game. Probably not. But it seems to me that if he just moved his little horsey guy, this game would be over and we could go home. Who does this kid think he is? You really got to get to know the game before you make suggestions like that. Checkmate. I don't believe it. Louie was right. Knight to Queen 4. Don't you recognize it? The Siberian Sweep! What, was it something I said? No. And so began my career as a chess player. Pawn, rook, mm, horsey guy. Mm, guy on horse, trigger, black beauty, man of La Mancha. Knight! It's a knight! Why can't you remember that? Oh, he drives me crazy. Um, religious guy? Pope? A priest? It's a bishop! A bishop! That one's so easy! Are you doing this on purpose? I didn't know what all the pieces were called, but somehow, instinctively, I knew exactly where they should move. For the first time in my life, I was a natural. Jack, please. 
You mean checkmate? Whatever. The Romanian reverse, he's a genius. He's brilliant. He's insane. Hmm. Lily? Uh, huh? Um, what are you doing? Huh? Salt takes pepper three. Right. How'd I miss that? Do you know that Melvin? What makes you say that? Just a hunch. Hi, Hi Louie. Louie. Oh, this isn't good, Louie. The Melvins are chess players. And you know what happens to chess players. What? They get teased, humiliated, and stomped. Come on. That's just a cliche. Oh, really? Who's the king? Come on, say it. You are you the, know, king. Play, play, the king. You're the king. Oh, you're the king. Yeah. Man, I hate being right all the time. Checkmate. He's astounding. Checkmate. He's remarkable. Checkmate. He might even be as brilliant as the great one. <gasps> Don't you dare say such a thing. That's blasphemy. You sully the name of the Great One. You think I'm as good as Jackie Gleason? No, and he's talking about the other Great One. And you're not as good as him. Who is this freak? Tell him the story, Melvin. Some say he was the greatest chess player who ever lived. He came out of nowhere. No one knew his name. They called him the Masked Chess Man. Really? They must have spent hours coming up with that name. The year was 1919. The masked chess man burst onto the notoriously competitive Wisconsin chess scene with the longest streak of undefeated matches in Wisconsin state history. He conquered Kenosha, Oshkosh, Chippewa Falls, and then one cold July day, after thoroughly humiliating the reigning chess champion of Portage in a 12-second game, the masked chess man just disappeared. Lights, Melvin. Wow, what happened to him? No one knows. He hung up his mask, and no one ever found out who he really was. And you think I play just like him? Louis, I think you might even be better. Heresy! I'm not hearing this. Me neither. That's the nicest thing any chess guy ever said to me. And this is why I signed you up for the Cedar Knoll chess tourney. You signed me up for what? Opening round start tomorrow. Please, tell me this is a very small event that no one knows about or comes to see. Oh no, it's big. It's huge. People come from all over the state to watch. Everyone you ever met in your life will be there. Wow, can't wait. A chessboard? Do you know how to play? Well, yeah. This week I beat all three Melvins, but I still need to practice for the tournament. I see. Well, I think there's a board in the attic. You run along and have fun with your imaginary friends, the Melvins. All right, come on, Melvins. Get the light out. Isn't that cute? Hello, Andy. Uh-huh. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, fine. The strangest thing just happened. Oh, here we go. Louie came home with three imaginary friends and asked if we had a chessboard. What? Strange, isn't it? He's never been able to make any imaginary friends before. Who cares about that? What did you tell him about the chessboard? Well, I told him to look in the attic. That's where you keep yours. You did what? <gasps> oh, right. Whatever you do, don't touch that board. Jeez, don't have a coronary. I was just looking for your chest set. What, are you not so? You trying to ruin your life? Um, no. You can't play chess. You'll be ridiculed. Don't you get it? People make fun of people who play chess. How do you know? Because I laugh at him myself. I've seen him around. On TV, in the park. Bunch of brain-heavy, pencil-neck, nearsighted, whiny-voiced chess players! They're walking targets. But I just want to play. No, say it ain't so. You're doomed! See, the better you are, the more they make fun. You know, come to think of it, you might be right. No one talks to the Melvins, except... Other Melvins. Oh, your friends with kids named Melvin? No, it's happening. You gotta stop this madness. Don't play chess, kid. It'll ruin your life. Well, hello, Mr. Dramatic. Why don't you learn a nice, wholesome game like poker? Right. That's all I need. Three imaginary friends and a gambling habit. What? You're talking crazy. He's got an interest. You should encourage him. Encourage him? I'm trying to protect them. 
protect him from what? P and T. Huh? Pain and torment. Oh, Andy, it's just a little game. Sure it is, and leprosy's just a little itch. Let me tell you a story about this game. A little story that happened to a little guy named Andy. It all started when I was just about Louie's age. What are you doing, Chess Weenie? <laughs> it continued into high school. Well, if it isn't the Chess Dork. <laughs> <laughs> and right into WW2. What is this? Ich bin ein Chess Gump Poop. Oh, Chess. So maybe I embellished the last part, but all in all, it was a horrible price to pay for enjoying a board game. Andy, just because you were made fun of doesn't mean Louie will be. You're kidding. That's exactly what it means. I'm saving the kid a lot of heartache. P and T, baby. P and T. You're keeping him from being good at something. You may be right. Kid's not like me. Doesn't have much going for him. All right, everybody, place your bets. What are you doing, Louie? Planning my career as a Vegas dealer. Oh. What? It's harder than it looks. Louie, if you want to play chess, you should play chess. Why? Do you want me to be made fun of? Your father has some painful memories of playing chess, but that doesn't mean you'll have the same experience. I mean, let's face it, your father's a little different. I'll say. Everyone will tease me if I play chess. No, they won't. Chess is a very difficult game, and I know kids. They admire intellectual abilities. Hey, cut it out. Hmm. Give me that back. Hey, that's my bishop. That's my pawn. That's my rook. I only got two of those. Try playing your dumb game now, rookless. No pawn intended. <laughs> Let me fix your chess players. They can't withstand the intensity of the sun. But I suppose that's the point, isn't it? That'll learn ya. Next time, play an American game like Chinese checkers. Mm. I hope my name's not on the list. No. Hmm. Hey, loser, what are you doing? Signing up for the weenie list. No. I was just, um, taking down names of all the chess losers that I want to make fun of. Oh, good idea! Make a copy of that list for me and send it to my girl, would you, buddy? Oh, humiliation. It's all coming my way. Hey. That's it! It's that time of the year again. Welcome, Wisconsin, to the world-famous Cedar Knoll Chess Tournament. Wh wh where's, where's Louie? Where's Louie? Maybe he decided not to show. Uh-oh, what do we have here? A masked chess man wannabe. Looks like someone's trying on the shoes of a legend. And who knows if they're gonna fit. Checkmate. Whoa, it looks like the masked chess boy has just claimed victim number one. Hi, my name is Mitchell. Who are you, masked man? Checkmate. Ouch, someone just put another notch in that chess boy's mask. Who's that? That's the masked chess boy. They say he's real good. Doesn't he remind you of someone? Batman? No. The kid from Fat Albert? Come on, I've got an idea. The Romanian reverse. I've only seen two other people make that move. Checkmate. Sorry, Melvin. Louie, is that you? Shh, don't blow my cover. Ladies and gentlemen, this special chess update just in. The Cedar Knoll Chess Tournament has been rocked by the appearance of a masked chess boy. Now, the masked boy has completely dominated the competition, beating several of the favorites. Officials are saying that he might be even better than the original masked chess man. Oh, my. A chess player who wears a mask? What's he talking about? There's only one masked chess man. You mean the masked chess man who was afraid to show his face? That masked chess man? Why, he's long gone. He's not gone. He'll be back. <laughs> Where are you going? 
I gotta get down to that tournament. Oh, Andy, are you going down to the tournament to show that poor misguided masked chess boy that it's safe to remove his mask? Are you kidding? I'm going down there to kick some masked chess butt. Chess weenie. Chess uh, door. What? Chess comp poop. What did he say? Checkmate! Wow, that masked chess boy is a checkmate machine. Boys and girls, hang on to your kings. He's coming for them. You're talking crazy. I don't believe it. Look. Masked chess boy and Louie. See? Masked chess boy, Louie. Get it? No way. I still don't think it's him. Masked chess boy requests one donut. I mean three. Okay, it's him. Checkmate. Hey, this one's in the refrigerator. The door's closed, the lights are out, the eggs are cool, and the butter's getting hard. So just grab your hats and say goodbye. It's all over, folks. And the winner of this year's Cedar Knoll Chess Tournament is the Masked Chess Boy. <laughs> masked Chess Boy says thank you very much. It's an honor. I'm just wondering if he's going to remove the mask. <gasps> well, capture my rooks. It's him, the Masked Chess Man. Ladies and gentlemen, after 40 long years, the Masked Chess Man has come out of retirement to challenge the Masked Chess Boy. Do you accept? The Masked Chess Boy wants to know what the donut situation is. <gasps> the Masked Chess Boy accepts the challenge. In all the great matchups in sports, has there ever been anything so exciting as this? Think of it. Masked Chess Boy versus the legend, Masked Chess Man. And so, folks, it's Masked Man with the first move. He brings out his pawn, and Masked Boy responds with a vicious sweep of his own pawn. A pawn to the left, a bishop to the right, king takes cover behind the queen. Again a knight, pawn, another knight, a rook to the left. Somebody hose me off, it's getting hot in here. Hey, what about a moi? Mass Boy counters to the right, Rook up the middle. Folks, this is the best chess I've seen in years. They're anticipating every move, almost like these two players are related. Good move, Louie! All right! Take off the mask, you weenies! Show yourself! Take them off! Take them off! Hmm. Well, wrap me up and call me leftovers. I think we have a draw. Take I had finally met my match. There was no way I was going to beat the legend. I wasn't going to win this game, but maybe I could still go out a winner. <gasps> Look, I told you so. Aha! I knew it. Lou is a chess weenie. He likes Hi. chess. Loser. What kind of losers like chess? That was a rhetorical question. Kid, you're an inspiration. And it's you. Darn right it's me, in the flesh. I like chess, and I don't care who knows it. Plus, it was starting to smell a little funky under there. I hereby declare this challenge to be a draw. Tied for first place are the masked chess boy. No, that's Lou Anderson. And that's Andy Anderson, and he doesn't care who knows it. You got that right. Can you say unbelievable finish? How about a nice round of applause now for your champions? Well, brave chessmen. You got that right. Set up the pieces. Turns out, by taking off my mask, I set off a chain reaction among my friends. We all realized you got to do the things you love to do. And you can't worry about what other people think. Every now and then, however, I just wish I'd kept that stupid mask on. Where pirates all are well to do and live and die.